Hey everybody, this is Brian's Washer Videos, and today right here, I am back with the Maytag washing machine, and today right here, I just got a request by Jerome Davis that he wants to see with the washing machine with a normal cycle with an empty load in here. Um, the fact is that I want to say during a normal cycle that I want to show you, <clears throat> if you have a small load in the washing machine, they can use a little bit of water level right here. Or if they, if you use the heavy load or extra large load, then it'll f precisely fill a little more water to tumble the clothes to wash everything properly, so it comes out cleaner. Including the uh, rinse cycle can fill more water to rinse everything, including softener and bleach can dispense. So yeah, I would uh, go ahead and do requesting with Jerome Davis. And let's turn that baby on, leave it on normal, and we're going to put it on light soil, cold water, I think medium spin, so I, I don't think medium spin might go on for its spin cycle, I believe it'll do its ex extract spin during the final spin, so we're not going to use extra power this time, and we're not going to load in detergents because you know this is going to be... A test video for Jerome Davis so yeah I hope this helps for him since I reminded him <clears throat> this is gonna be requesting videos not much of it but it's gonna be another load soon including we're gonna do whites white cycle soon including heavy duty takes around two hours because i did the overload right here which is i got a request for jerome davis for the heavy duty but i'm afraid it's going to take longer than i know since uh i might say heavy duty takes around a long full two hours i guess so i might say we'll see in the future so now it's sensing with nothing, because you know, it's almost like we're running on diagnostic mode, or it's like using the quick wash cycle that we did last time, especially the one with the uh, middle right here in the middle of the tub, it has a black tape because I have to put it here so that we can see what is going on on the tub and see how it rotates properly. Yeah, it still does a pretty good, pretty good job cleaning everything, including I didn't check the uh, recirculator because it might be a little bit, uh, a little weak for jetting out the clothes to pump it, but it still works good, but maybe I have to, uh, use Q-tips, or if I can check in here, maybe you'll see if there's no problem or not, because it's still working. All right, filling of water. Speaking of which, that light soil we never run in a while. My family does run with normal or heavy soil for their clothes for that. And check the water. This is how it looks like. Yep, that's the little bit of cloggy recirculator. It, it still works, but I wanted to say recirculator can get a little cloggy when it when when it's a little when it's used for a year. So maybe if the recirculator didn't pump properly, or is it not going to pump, or is it fully clogged, then maybe we'll have to go ahead and check what's wrong with the recirculator. Recirculator works, no problem, and especially since childhood thought, I thought uh, this recirculator can fill more water with it, 
but only recirculator can pump water through the recirculator. So we make sure that it sprays jet to close. Since uh, when the um, when a new whirlpool manufacturer is back in 2019, I've been thinking about those uh, recirculator right here can uh, strongly use a little bit, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe a huge water pressure for that or. might be taking a little while so yeah if you guys have a small if you have a little bit or if you have a small load in here then you should put it on to light soil Takes a little while actually for the uh, rotation. There we go. I believe this is how the water level looks like. We'll wait for the tub to stop rotating right here. Especially if your circulator is still continuing pumping right here. I believe this is where the water level looks like on this washer. And here it is. I believe this is how it looks like. Such as I saw the video of someone increasing the water level by the Camore LG using the LG washer. I believe they do have the uh, switch for the water level to increase it during the wash cycle. But I believe this is this level right here because I believe. It can, uh, I think, yeah, it, I believe it, it is, it, it does sense water, water level for how much clothes does it weight or anything. And I believe this RPM slows to 20 RPMs. Sorry about the access, because you know it's a heater noise. Except the one, uh, it's uh, it's still March. But maybe next video we can do a reinstalled air conditioner video, and uh, I have to do an overview video of my air conditioner that I never showed since I posted on. Uh, YouTube studio and it's still private but I have to uh, post it just in time when, when after when <clears throat> after if I did the video of the reinstall air conditioner season cycle but I'll catch you guys sound like it's going to spin and sorry if I didn't make it to uh to the engage of spin because I came over here to say hi to my mom because my mom already got home First terminate spin before it's rinse. I believe the first rinse before second rinse. Maybe it does do its uh, same water level it gets on wash cycle, but during second rinse it uses more water before final spin. I didn't even know 37 mark. I think I forgot. 37 mark might uh, 
Might be a start of engaging spin. Sure, drive we actually increases the speed because uh, I would have think about during an Instagram stream um, Scamp Pair 1985 told me that I replaced the direct drive to the other drives on the washer which is uh, I don't know what he says but I think I forgot he says something after if I replace my previous direct drive washer since I was impatient for waiting for new machines I hope this uh Helps for Jerome Davis where he sees the one with the washer with empty load in a normal cycle. before when the recirculator kicks on oh I think this is where the water level looks like during the first rinse or never mind it's increasing a bit because it's uh, left water filling a little more in the tub I think the strange fact is, after the wash cycle passes, and then the recirculator doesn't doesn't kick on during after a spin, and then after when the rinse cycle is on, and then there's recirculator kicking on, and there's a little bit of soapy spot, soapy left over on the recirculator. Just want to make sure the just want to make sure the clothes were absolute rinsed properly. So it doesn't come out itchy or anything. It's just why I wanted to rinse it properly. I've been believing since I did a video of the Roper washing machine. Some other people think that customer complaint was the washing that the Roper or a washer doesn't go with go with its agitation rinse. It does do its spray rinse and then do its final spin. So yeah, 
Using extra rinse on the amount of wash, you can do its agitation rinse and then doing its intermediate spin and then spray rinse and final spin. It's just the monorist washing machines made on Whirlpool. And I believe this Maytag or Whirlpool front loader can make can made it modern as well. It's almost like based older models for the tub, especially doors. Final rinse. Because, uh, I wish I would check the inch or centimeters for the water line. How much does not rinse during, during its final spin? Or actually, final rinse. But not actually final spin. Final spin can, t can do its, uh, uh, Doing its uh, full speed to spin dry clothes. Every front loader can go faster than the top loader machines. Including Whirlpool Cabrio, the older model. Ever since I did a last video of my hunt's previous Kemwar Elite Oasis video. It's back in 2017 with my different voice. So yeah, much of an update on my aunt's washer. Go watch it and you see the update on the description and you'll see the update on the machine. Because this is a new machine back in 2020. And basically, I'll explain it. I'll explain the uh, my aunt's new washer when I get back to her house. Finally, but it's been four years since after if I didn't film her washing machine But maybe I'll do it in the future when her when if I get back to her house All right, this is how the uh, Final rinse water looks like in a washing machine Like, look at that. I would have think about it's like during a clean washer cycle. But maybe we'll do the stream if we can do the full cycle of the clean washer cycle. Since I did a last video of a clean washer. Final spin. Here's what it looks like when it stops. Yeah, focus right here. I think this is how it looks like when it's stopped tumbling. I can almost complete out of focus. Here it is. A little more water to drain down before it's doing its final extract. Speaking of the tablet update for the washing machine is well, we only got one last tablet left and no worries we can buy another more just in time.
those medium spin can do its final extract instead of going to medium spin. Because I believe that'll be a little bit of strange facts. I would have think about washing machine is supposed to be at the correct settings instead of going to its other speeds. You know, you hear how quiet this machine does spin during the spin cycle, especially the bearings. Because if the bearing does go bad and rusty, then it'll be much, much louder and not really quiet at all. On this machine right here, there's no problem, no noisy bearings, especially the shaky balancing, maybe suspending, suspending. Actually, it's a suspension rods for the washer. It, it still does balance perfectly good, as you can see. Because if it does go bad, then like the sensor help to active to slow it down so it redistributed the clothes. Yep, to its final extract instead of medium. Final extract takes around 1160 RPMs. I love the fact that is, if I've seen uh, Dean's washer videos, I've seen the one with the Fisher & Paykel Intuitifico IWL16, except the one with the Fire Alarm Tech Bay 4444's washer, uh, washer videos. I haven't, I haven't talked to my washer friends I haven't talked to my washer fans like a lot. I've been chilling around with my stuff and everything. So here's what the extraction speed looks like. This is not the settings I picked. I picked this as the speed. Don't worry, maybe I can air dry it after uh, the cycle's done for Jerome. It's just like during the final spin, I can. It's like after if I did the one with the fresh clean cycle. Of course, after if I did if I after if I did use the one with the fresh clean, I do the rinse and spin cycle to rinse the tub properly and spin dry the tub and then air dry it. So I make sure it doesn't cause any more odors in here. Here it goes. It does slow down a little quicker than I know. It's a it's a direct drive washer. That's not bad at all. And some other people ask why the washer does cut the time down while it's at the time. I've been wishing those machine can do its uh time on time instead of cutting down on time for the cut down cutting down the dry time to toss it in a dryer there it goes the time has come we got to clean the washing machine again 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know what the reminder is? Well, guess what? It's here. <laughs> Alright. That is the washing machine, which is, this is the Maytag washer. Doing a normal cycle with the light soil. And, uh... Here we got the CL code again, and we get to do washer with a fresh, clean tablet again. So yeah, no worries, but maybe, uh, actually, let's just do it another time, because I have to clean the tub immediately. So yeah. I hope this helps Jerome Davis. I bet, I think he'll know how much inch water level does go on a wash cycle. Let me smell the tub since after a reminder. Still not bad, but it need to be cleaned though. But I have to clean it immediately. Even the seal boot is still moist after the cycle's done. And forgot those show the model number right here. Focus. It's a little hard time to focus on my phone because I'm using my one hand. There we go. MHW5630HW. 4.5 cubic feet washer. And I hope we can do the white cycle. And we can do the heavy duty net another time since I failed the recording after November. So yeah. So we're going to clean the washing machine again, and we can do another load suit, including me. I can do another laundry anytime for another stream. So yeah, let's go ahead and clean the washing machine. And I have to use the scissors. Oh yeah, without using the scissors, I can still use my finger. Maybe precisely using my fingernails. So, hold on a sec. All right, now I open up the bag, and where's the flashlight? There we go. I, was all, I almost lost the flashlight. <laughs> all right, so uh, I, opened up, I opened up the fresh tablet, and I'm gonna move the tub, so that way I wanna make a room for a tablet to clean the washing machine. So if you wanted to see the uh, clean washer cycle, then watch the link in the description, so that way you can watch fully for the cycle. the flashlight falling off and here it is that's the tablet which is I want it all the way in the tub there we go full of powder because it's about to uh, break but don't worry it's plastic garbage so yeah hope I can catch you another video of the washing machine so I'm not gonna require the whole thing because as I said before Link a description so that way you can watch fully. Alright, that's going to be much it. And I'll catch you in another cycle video on the Maytag washer. So, alright, thanks for watching and take care. Have a good day. Stay washing!